Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here from DIYE65E66.com. In today's video, we're going to be replacing the serpentine belt. Not, I mean, this only took me about less than five minutes to get to this point here. But if you want to know how to get to this section right here, please watch my how to replace your crank case vent valves video. I'll try to put up a little link right over here in this corner of the video. Click on that. Mobile users, you'll have to look in the description box below. Crank case vent valves. That will show you step by step how I got to this portion right here. But this video is going to be about changing the serpentine belt. Go ahead and just uh, fire it up and get started here. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to grab a T55 torque bit. And we're going to grab our breaker bar so we can move that tensioner to the side and pull off the belt. And uh, what I'm going to do here is how to take that off. Um, sorry for the angle here. Um, I can't really get any closer, but right, right where my finger is here, there is a little star. And that is a T55 on the tensioner here. And so I have my breaker bar with my T55. And I'm going to go ahead and insert it in there. I'm going to go ahead and crank it, loosen the tension, and remove the belt. It's always a good idea to take a picture of how the belt is looped around the pulleys and tensioners so that you can put it on exactly the same. So definitely do that. All right, guys, I have my T55 inserted into the slot here. And I'm going to try to get this shot the best I can. It's kind of hard when you don't have a uh, cameraman. but So... It's so right below the belt is where I insert my star, and you're actually going to be pulling it righty-tighty. So you're going to actually pull your breaker bar, and it's a lot easier with a breaker bar, guys. Just make sure that this doesn't slip out. You don't want to snap your belt or anything like that. So then you just crank it over to the right, and see, see that pulley right over there? See how I'm pulling it to the right, and it's loosening? And then what you do is you just, once it's loosened, you can go ahead and just take it on off. And so I'm going to, uh, let's see, I think I might be able to do it while I'm filming here. So let me crank it over to the right. Let me show you, see there's where my thing is inserted there. All right, and definitely don't get your fingers caught. So be careful, guys. And then loosen the belt on up. And again, be careful. Uh, with your fingers and whatnot. Okay. Let's see here. So once you're at this section, you can go ahead and be very careful. Again, guys, watch your fingers. Do not um, let that tensioner go and your finger be caught underneath here or whatnot. And then Go ahead and once you're out of that main pulley right there, the water pump pulley, then you can let your tensioner down and then you just uh, very carefully remove your belt. Again, knowing exactly what direction it's going. Um, so definitely take a photograph and uh, know how to put it back on. And my belt looks pretty good. There's no fring. The grooves look nice and strong. It doesn't look warped at all. Um, and so the belt looks okay, but... But my water pump pulley looks good. So check this out. I got about 134,000 miles on the car, 2006. Um, water pump bearing pulley looks good. Uh, no cracks, no spring around the water pump. Means the water pump uh, doesn't have any cracks. But again, when a water pump goes bad, that can come up on you like that. And you can be sitting on the side of the road. So always uh, check for the uh, bearing. Make sure there's no wobble to it to let uh, coolant spray out because then there's overheating and then you're in trouble. All right, we got the belt off here. And as you guys saw, the belt uh, actually is in pretty decent condition still. Car has about 133,000 miles on it. We're going to keep the belt. Uh, we're going to wrap that up and keep that belt uh, in our garage just in case uh, if yours ever snaps, at least you have a spare that you can throw on uh, last minute. So until you sell the car, Keep the belt. So we got our uh, kit here. Uh, this one is Con Con I Tech Continental. This is uh, your uh, accessory drive kit. You know, you got your pulley, pulley tensioner, um, AC belt, and serpentine belt in this. And look in the description box below for all your links. Pick this up. It's a great little kit. If not, um, if I can't find this kit, I'll go ahead and list individual uh, uh, ones below in the description box. So check that out. So let's open this on up and let's check it out. All right, guys. So in the box, we got our AC belt, new AC belt. We got our large serpentine belt. 
We've got our pulley below the alternator pulley with the cap that goes on top to cover up that bolt. And we got our tensioner, new tensioner, um, with our new pulley right here. What we're going to do here before we put our belt back on, we're going to examine the, uh, the pulleys, make sure there's no grit and dust all over there. You want to make sure there's no debris in the grooves here, here, or on the pulleys as well. So grab a uh, computer um, air compressor, you know, little squirt thing for electronics. You can squirt off it or just put your mouth down there and blow really hard and get uh, any uh, dust out of those uh, pulley grooves so it doesn't uh, affect your belt. And with the belt, you can put the riding facing forward or backwards, whatever you prefer. It's a belt. It doesn't. Uh, it's not meant to go on a certain direction. As long as the threading looks good, you can pick that way or that way, or whatever way you take off the old one, you can put it back on that way. If the riding on the other one was facing that way, it's up to you if you want to do that or not. And when I'm talking about riding, I'm talking about this stuff on top of the belt. And guys, same thing to put it back on. Wrap it around. So the easiest way to start, start up here at the top, put it on this one, and then you're going to come down here to the right. It's going to go around the alternator, and then the smooth side is going to go on the back side of this pulley. Let me get this out of the way here. And then it's going to go on the back side, the smooth side of the pulley. Then it's going to go down and around, and to get this part, you're going to have to crank it. You're going to have to crank it back, get the tension slacked on, and then it goes down and around, up through here on this one, groove side of course, and then it goes around this one with the smooth side, and then around this one with the grooves. And there you go, guys. So again, in order to get it back on, you're going to have to... Uh, Put tension on the tensioner, release the tension, put it back on. And again, guys, always examine, make sure the teeth of the belt are on. It's evenly spaced around. Again, look for debris, blow it off if necessary. All righty, looks good. Always double check your work. Pulley looks good. All right, guys. Now, I'm going to put all this back together here. And we did a new serpentine belt. Very simple, guys. Very quick. So anyway guys, uh, I'm going to put all this back together, but again, watch my how to replace crank vent valves, crank case vent valves video for the putting all back together process. Taking apart, watch that video to get up to this point, and then again, putting it all back together. All the little wiring here that needs to kind of clip back into place, your sensor here, your air filter box there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, but uh, just double check all your work. Don't rush it. And double check all your work, put everything back together. You don't want any sensors going off on you. And you guys have a wonderful day. Please thumb the video up so more people can uh, see this and uh, can help them out. And please come on over to DIYE65E66.com. Come say hello. Drop me a line. And my apologies, guys. I've been very busy with other projects. So if you have left a comment and, or an answer to a question, um, my apologies if I haven't gotten back to you yet. I'm going to try my best to get back to everyone. But for some reason, if I'm delayed, um, if the community that comments, if they could help us out, that'd be fantastic, guys. I appreciate you. Um, again, make sure you subscribe and check out the links below for these parts right here. You can purchase them. Check the links below. Thanks, guys. You guys have a good night.